Welcome again guys, my name is Ricky and this is another Irifix. Today I'll be restoring this Matchbox Land Rover Safari number no. 12, manufactured by Lesney in England. These models were manufactured between 1966 and 1970 and they came in green, blue and um, I think it was metallic gold. And they all have this little plastic luggage on the top. Some, however, were customized and uh, the plastic luggage were never replaced. I guess you can always do th this um, when you're customizing a model. This one will be a full restoration, so I will have to source a uh, plastic luggage for it. The previous owner decided to cover up the original blue paint with this yellow and orange combination. <laughs> I guess it looks really good to him, but... Um, not my not my taste I guess what this was his taste as you can see the plastic has some paint on it and that will have to be removed with some brake fluid but however it is in good shape but the casting looks really good apart from the paint job all in all the model looks to be in good condition As you can see, these um, models have quite a few details on it, and that was where the plastic luggage was supposed to be fitted. So I went ahead previously and I drilled out the hole and I removed the base and the interior. So now it's time to dunk it in my quick stripper, and it uh, looks like it needs a little more. So I'll have to add some more quick stripper to my bottle. Um, in the meantime, I will just go ahead and remove the wheels. I use my rotary tool and a grinding stone just to grind off the head of the, uh, the, the axle and remove the wheels. And that came off really easy. I guess I'm getting real good at this. And there's the other one. And it comes off real easy. The plastic is, well, the base is made of plastic. So. I removed it from my jar, it was sitting there for about 5 minutes and I use this little paint brush and just gently remove the paint and um, it comes off quite easy the yellow and orange paint that were covering up the blue paint also comes off very easily so I Got some soap and water, and I use my toothbrush and I give it a wash. I'm gonna save this paint for uh, future matching to, to match the paint color to give it uh, the paint job. As I said, I'm gonna restore it, so I want to give it the original color that it came with. So here you can see I'm using my toothbrush to wash the casting clean. I'm also using this little pick to get in the grooves and the little details to remove the remainder of the paint. And that was done. I dried it properly just to have a better look on the casting. The casting, as I said before, was in good condition. So now I'm just using my rotary tool and a wire wheel to give it a little polishing.
Then I use some triple lock steel wool to further prepare the body for the undercoat. I just want to make sure that uh, the casting is in good condition to give it the undercoat. I realized that I didn't drill out the post. It, it is a single post for it to accommodate the screw when I'm reassembling. So here am I using a 2-56 uh, drill to drill out the post. And I'm using this tap to tap the hole to accommodate the screw. And there it is. So before I give it down a coat, I make sure I wash the casting thoroughly with some mineral spirit. I guess you can use other degreasers to wash it clean. And then I'm using Testers Fine Primer Gray to give it the undercoat. And it goes on very easily. Looks very good. You can see it has a lot of details in it. The casting that is has a lot of details. And I want to you know, give it light coats just to preserve those details. So I'm using this teal color, close to blue, and I try to match it with the original paint. However, it was too dark, so I'm gonna add some testers white gloss and see if I can come up with the desired color or the matching color, not my desired color, the matching color. test it and it is still too dark add some more white I try to add um, little as I go along because I don't want to overdo it and then I'll have to, to mix a new batch and uh, still does not match Add some more again. So there it match and um, I was satisfied with that color. So here I go started to paint it. I gave it a light coat first. And let it sit for about five minutes. And then I continue to paint. The paint goes on really easy, so after the first coat, I decided to just continue painting. So while the paint is dry, I turn my attention to the windshield. So I'm just going to use some brake fluid and try to clean this paint. And the paint comes off real good. Just using a Q-tip.
and the wheels they need some washing a little polishing and the base also I'm gonna use my drill and sandpaper to remove some rust from the axles and get them shiny again I started off with this 1500 grit sandpaper and then I realized that I need something uh, with a little more grit So I'm using some black wash, just some black paint and some thinner uh, to go over the wheels just to get them shiny again and uh, they look really good. White interior had um, a little stain, so I was, you know, have it um, soaked in some soap water, and then, you know, it comes out really good. And I realized that there's a little scuffle on the, a little scuff on the, the windshield, so I'm using some sandpaper to sand it out. Started off with a uh, 1000 grit and then I worked my way down to 3000. And it comes out really good. And then I just give it some polishing with some metal polish and a Q tip. And they can hear the squeaks. Simply mean meaning that it is clean. And move on to the other parts. So here am I refitting the wheels and axles. And I have watched some videos online and um, especially Marty. And I uh, saw him use this modified nail and press 
I have this modified screw but and I don't have a press but I'm using my drill and I'm trying to trying it out for the first time and uh, just want to see how it will turn out so I use a pliers to hold the axle and I use a drill applying some force and um, it, it, it works it really works and I'm happy with my result I just improvise a little and um, it works out really good uh, so I did the first one and I was satisfied so uh, let me do the second one So I'm holding tight and I'm pressing real, real hard and turning and it looks really good I'm satisfied with my result so when everything is all cleaned up and um, casting is dried I decided to put everything back together I had sourced a plastic luggage so let's see how it will turn out So we started out with this Matchbox Land Rover Safari number 12. It had multicolor paint and was in need of a makeover. And this is where we end up. The new and improved Matchbox Land Rover Safari number 12 back to its original color with a plastic luggage and looking brand new again. Please subscribe and leave your comment. Thank you for watching.